with me and let's follow Jesus up the mountain so we can learn more about how to follow him. Hello and welcome to our February 14th Elementary Sunday School Session. We are on our last Beatitude, which comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 through 12. Listen to these words. Jesus says, Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus ended his Beatitudes with a strong word of encouragement for us. In these final words of Jesus' blessing, Jesus again said his followers would be blessed in facing persecution. He knew that this might be one of the toughest, hardest things people keeping people from living out God's abundant love. But Jesus also told us, rejoice when we are persecuted. Does that make sense to you? Do you rejoice when people misunderstand you or say mean things to you? It isn't easy, but Jesus reminded us that when we make brave choices, even if they are unpopular choices, we are creating a world that looks more like God's home. We also have a whole family of faith who is with us, people who followed God thousands of years ago and people today who are with us as we follow in faith. And that's worth celebrating. Well, together we have been on the mountain with Jesus to learn and to grow. Look at all we've discovered. We've shared about God's heart, a heart of never-ending mercy and love. We've explored what God's kingdom looks like, the way the world can work when we create communities of justice and peace. We've talked about God's promises, promises of abundance. There is more than enough. When we're told too often that there isn't enough, we've grown more in who we are beloved children of God. Jesus taught us on the mountain, a place where people believed was holy or special and close to God. And now it's time to come down from the mountain to love and live the way that Jesus showed us. The world may look the same as when we went up the mountain, but we have grown. We see the world in a new way. Jesus showed us how to love our neighbors in all creation with open hands, an open heart, and an open mind. Jesus said we are blessed when we feel what the wor world feels and we act on behalf of those in need and receive help when we are in need. This is how God's kingdom is on earth, a kingdom that everyone can be a part of. Together, as part of this great team, we can love and heal the world. Now let's put our hands up for our blessing. May God bless you on the journey of faith as we partner to bring God's kingdom to earth. And let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your beautiful heart and topsy-turvy teaching. Thank you for changing our hearts and lives for helping us see everyone and everything through your eyes. Bring us down the mountain now with hope and strength to serve, love, and heal your world. Remind us each day what it means to be truly blessed and keep us steady as we follow your footsteps. Amen.